guys, it's Alicia. And Jared. And today we are doing a WW must have. So we're gonna be showing you a bunch of different items that for us are must haves. We use almost every day, some of these. And they're just things that we found through the years, because some of them have, we've been using for years, huh? Yeah. Through the years that we really enjoy. Now we've done a similar video to this a while ago, um, but it's not as involved. There's not as many items. Now some of these items may be repeats to that video, so I just wanted to say that. But yeah, this one has got a whole lot more items than that one. But I will link that one up above and down below too, if you want to check that out. Okay, so we're gonna just jump in here, and I guess you want to mention coffee and coffee mate. Yeah, so I'm I'm drinking coffee, um, which is an absolute must for us. Yeah. For us, of course, if we weren't doing Weight Watchers, we would still drink coffee. True. But uh, we we grab various flavors of the uh, sugar-free uh, coffee mate. That's my favorite. Yours is the French vanilla. No, nah, it's just the one that's always available. I like this one. Okay. That one's definitely this my favorite. This one's probably my favorite. And I we had a pumpkin pumpkin spice over the holidays and I typically don't like that. I really like it this year. Yeah. So that is zero points if you only use one tablespoon, which is what I try to do. Um, of course, and that's... We're, I'm, like I, I have multiple cups out the day, so I'm getting quite a few points really from that. Yeah, because if you go to two tablespoons, it then becomes a point. I usually only have coffee once a day, maybe twice. I'm just gonna grab stuff at random. Okay. In no particular order. So next up, we have popcorn. Now that is just popcorn kernels. We love making it on the stove. And a quarter cup of the kernels is four points. We typically make it with um, coconut oil though, which obviously adds points to it. But popcorn is probably one of our favorite snacks, I would say. Yeah. Definitely filling you and satisfying. You feel like you're really getting a lot. Yeah, you got the crunch, you know. Yeah. The so we've got crunch, that. Crunch, crispy. It's crunchy, I guess. Yeah, it's a soft crunch, that's weird. And then as far as already made popcorn, I would say this one, the Angie's, is probably one of our favorites. Yeah. And that is five points a serving. We get this at a local store, it's not name brand. So this is uh, still cut oats. Um, now this is a little bit higher in points, but I have this for breakfast and to me it's totally worth it. Because uh, if I don't have this, I end up eating typically a cereal that has, you know, it's higher in sugars, lower in fiber. Uh, so this is a staple for me, uh, period. So I do this in the crock pot and you do a serving of what, one and a half cups? And I just make this with water. Uh, so it's just the still cut oats and water um, and a little bit of vanilla. So one and a half cuts, cups prepared is six points mm -hmm. for this. But it is, I think it's definitely worth it because it's filling. Yeah, it's very you. filling. And then what goes along with that is I put in a scoop of the protein powder. Ice um, up here, yeah. Yeah, to boost my uh, protein intake for the day. And that is one point a scoop. And I love that stuff too. It's great in smoothies. So I'll usually put a scoop of that in my smoothies when I do them. And then along with the uh, protein powder, I also put in uh, probably a cup of these um, for my bread. And that, that is my breakfast with a cup of coffee. And this really, I don't know, I find it very satisfying. And then we also use these berries for, a lot. Um, you know, snacks. Mm -hmm. or meals throughout the day so you add it for like a lunch or dinner yeah i'll put those in my smoothies i will just eat those i will take them and sprinkle a little bit of trivia Tri how do you say that trivia oh. trivia whatever uh no calorie sweetener on them and i'll just eat them like that and they're really good you eat them with yogurt sometimes yeah. and i do that too so this like fills an ice cream itch if i do the berries and yogurt, yogurt. it's just a sweet sweet satisfying thing for me we go through so many of those berries yeah a lot of berries because that's definitely probably when it comes to fruit one of our favorite <laughs> fruits that we like to eat and it's available all year round because it's frozen yeah and speaking of fruit um oh and so of course the berries are zero points as well as fruits 
We do eat a lot of fruits. One of my favorites right now is just apples. I'm really enjoying the apples. Um, I guess they're in season right now. Winter? Is apple season? Yeah. Apple. Fall through. Fall through spring. Anyway, so I've really been enjoying the apples. What have you been eating? Bananas? Yeah, which we don't have any. Yeah, we don't have any bananas right now. But Bananas is one of those, those staples for me, for sure. Yeah, so fruit is kind of a staple for us in general because it definitely helps with the sweet tooth and it is zero points. Unless you're talking about the avocado. Um, and this is definitely a staple for me. Not as much for you, huh? Well, when, you, when we do sandwiches for lunch, yeah. it's on the sandwich for sure. But I eat avocado, I would say, pretty much every single day. It's going in something. And so this is definitely a staple for me. They are a little bit on the high side. So if you do an ounce, it's a point, and then I think two ounces is three points. So, you know, as far as a fruit, it, it does carry points, but definitely a staple for me. And they're good for you too. So yeah. I love having those. And then we'll get our frozen stuff so we can put that away. So this fat-free whip topping, I use a lot. I use it mainly in desserts different desserts. In fact, I have, I'll, I'll link one of the videos up that I uh, used this a couple times in, but it comes in handy for desserts. I also like to use this for topping like sugar-free jello, something like that. I just love this stuff. So this stuff is one point for two tablespoons. And then this stuff here, we get at Aldi and it's just basically a reduced fat ice cream, but it's very good, I think. You've had a couple different flavors of this, right? Yeah, it's real satisfying. It, the, the consistency is, is a little off compared to um, ice cream. It's, it's, uh, it's more like uh, frozen, you know, there's frozen crystals, um, whereas, you know, ice cream is smooth and continuous I'm yeah not communicating well today no it's and it's the same so what this is like is the halo top if you've had the halo top this is basically all these version of halo top ice cream yeah. um and it this particular flavor here just the plain vanilla is two points for a half cup yeah and it's really good yeah um for sure it's, it's got that really nice ice cream flavor just the yeah the, the consistency, consistency is a, a little bit off it's it's more icy than yeah. creamy there you i go. would say there you go Okay, so some drinks that we've been enjoying. For me, I really still like these Protein 2O drinks because they have protein in them. They have 15 grams of protein and they are only a point. So I love having these just to get a little extra protein. And they basically taste like a flavored water, which we really like. So I really enjoy these. And then we have actual flavored water. Which we this is a mainstay for us for sure. Yeah. Um, and we get the, the Sam's Club version. They're really inexpensive. Compared to the, we were getting the sparkling ice or whatever. Relatively it's. speaking, of course. Yeah. And those are zero points too. Yep. That's my favorite. Flavor. Yeah. That flavor. That's a good one. And then as far as adult beverages, this is my favorite right now. These mics, what are they? They're seltzers, right? Seltzers, yeah. So, I mean, there was a seltzer craze last year. There still is. It's still going. <laughs> yeah. And we've tried a lot. most of them. Mm -hmm. so this, this to me, so I used to be a big Mike's drinker and then they became just too sweet yeah. for me. My, my palate changed. So these to me taste like Mike's should have been the whole time. So mm. they don't taste like seltzer water they at don't. all, I don't which the so. other ones do for, to, to my palate anyway. Um, these are awesome. And they're only three points a piece. So that is definitely kind of our adult beverage of choice at the moment. So I thought I'd show that. Cottage cheese. Now, if you see my Sam's Club haul, you will, or hauls, you will always see that in them. I love this stuff. It is not what I would call super Weight Watcher friendly because it is 4% milk fat. Now I used to buy the 2% milk fat which is a little bit lower in points. This one right here for 105 grams, it is three points. Or if you go up to 113 grams, which is the um, actual serving size of a half cup, it's four points. I usually just do 105 for three, but 
Um, I used to buy the 2% and really like that. They stopped selling it for like over a year, I think. And then I kind of got spoiled with this 4% milk fat and that's just- That the is one. the best cottage cheese it's, I've ever it's had. It's amazing. If you like cottage cheese and you have Sam's and you haven't tried this, you really should. It is so good. And it is the only cottage cheese that I will buy now. So that is definitely a staple for me, even though it's not the best in points. I love that stuff. So just again, and we've said this before, and, and this is the beauty of Weight Watchers, is that there's no food that's not Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers. Yeah. Um, there's point. There's lower points foods, but again, one of the reasons that people are successful on it is because you're not limited. Yeah. You know, it's not you can't have that candy bar. Well, you can. You just have to budget for it. Um, and I think those that cottage cheese is one of the things. And you, if you watch our other videos, I'll say this on certain things: Is it worth the points to me or not? And yeah. that cottage cheese is definitely worth the points. Yeah, you weigh out. I always weigh out my serving, and it is a nice little serving for three points, and I really enjoy it. Cooking spray, kind of a must. Now I don't use that all the time, but I do use that for a lot of different things, and it is zero points. Salad dressing, that Opa Lighthouse brand, it's what, avocado cilantro? Mm -hmm. Really good stuff. I love this stuff. Now I love Lighthouse anyway, that's kind of my favorite brand of salad dressing. Is it your jam? It is my jam. That's just your salad dressing. It's my salad dressing. I love that stuff though. And that is two points for two tablespoons, which I don't think is very bad when it comes to salad dressings. I mean, it tastes really good and it's much lower in points than some other Saw dressings that I've seen. Okay, these guys, these Thomas English muffins, what are they, whole grain, multi-grain? Yeah, it says on the side. 100 calorie multi-grain, they're the light ones. These are three points a piece. We love these. We do a lot of different things with them. Um, pizzas. Yeah, yeah, we don't just eat those. No, we don't like eat with those. butter. We we make meals out of them. Although they would be good that way too. Oh yeah. Uh, but we do pizzas, the little mini pizzas, uh, the McMuffin. mock McMuffins. I like to put peanut butter or protein, in fact, grab that and I'll show that next. I like to put this Wait, stuff. Did you say how many points those were? I can't remember. I, if I didn't say, the English muffins are three points. And um, I like to put this stuff on them and then banana make a little peanut butter sandwich. Have you had one of those before? Mm, oh, they're pretty, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Now this, speaking of the PB Fit, this is two points for two tablespoons. Let me double check that. Yeah, two points for two tablespoons and that's unprepared. So um, you just add water to this and voila, you have peanut butter. And I do know that the PB Fit 2, I think is what it's called, is lower than this one. But as I've said before, when I've showed this in videos, this is what Sam's carries. And so it's a whole lot cheaper when you buy it in bulk like this. So you I just buy this one. Are you gonna link the, the muffin recipes? Cause those, those pizzas are fantastic. Oh yeah, I will link where I show, well, if I can find them all, I'll link where I show the uh, pizza, the egg McMuffins, and maybe even the peanut butter little sandwiches that I do. But yeah, those English muffins are great. Very versatile. So speaking of sandwiches, bread. This is our go-to bread. It has been for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. Before that, we were using the Sara Lee 45 calorie. Uh, it's the same amount of points, I believe. So it's two points for two slices is what that is. And the Sara Lee, I think, is the same. But the Sara Lee is probably at least twice the price. Mm, we, usually. We used to get that at Sam's until I found this stuff at Aldi. And I think it's just as good. That was one of the frustrations with Weight Watchers when we first started doing it for me. Because I, I like having a sandwich for lunch. And they were super high in points. Yeah, because bread is high in points. Um, so that, that's been a nice find. And it's it's good bread. It's good bread. Now, it's, it's thin. Yeah. But... You know, you get used to that. Okay, so we love cheese in this house. So we use, or we eat a lot of different cheeses. Baby Bell are one of our favorites. That has probably, that's Baby Bell light, I should yeah. say. Those have been a favorite of ours for a very long time. I think probably as far back since we started doing Weight Watchers, like back in 2010, 11, 11 10, whatever yeah. it was. 
Um, so those are definitely a staple of ours. As well as the laughing cow wedges. Those I, on sandwiches, really. Uh, nice. Yeah, those go great on sandwiches. Those go great on wraps. Those go great on. I we used to use those in um, eggs too. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. They're just great. I mean, they taste great, and they're only this one anyway. Actually, I think most of them are only a point. Now the creamy original or whatever is two points, but um, I try to get the ones that are only a point. So living over here, it is kind of hard to find low fat cheese I've discovered. Um, this is, I think the favorite, the Kroger 40% less out of the ones that I've found. So that Kroger cheese is three points for a quarter cup. And I just use that in a lot of my recipes, yeah. pretty much all of my recipes that call for cheese, I use that. I used to use the Weight Watcher kind, but I can't find that over here, so. And it melts like plastic. It melts like plastic. It's very unpleasant. This one does a little bit, but it's not as bad, I would say. It's probably one of the better low-fat cheeses that um, I found. And then more cheese. These string these cheese, awesome. those are delicious. We love these things. And as I just showed in my recent Sam's Club haul, we bought like three packs of those because all three of us love them. We eat those basically every day, right? I have at least one of those, I think, a day. And they're only a point. So we definitely love those. And they're better than the name brand, the Sargento. Yes, absolutely. So these wraps, these Santa Fe, what are they? Santa Fe Tortilla Company wraps. These are my current favorite wrap. I was using the Extreme Wellness, I think they are. Um, I'm not sure. But they're very popular in the Weight Watcher community. I was using those and they're good, but I prefer these ones. Um, and they are whole grain and flax. So they're a little higher than the Extreme Wellness. I think the Extreme Wellness wraps are a point a piece. These are two points a piece, but I would rather use another point because I think these taste a whole lot better. Okay, so nuts. We like eating different nuts on Weight Watchers, even though they are kind of high in points in general, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Um, but the pistachios there, a half cup of those is five points. And then the almonds, I think a quarter cup of those, let me see. Mm, have, those are natural. They're not salted. They're not salted. I think they're, they're roasted. They're plain, yeah. Yeah, they're just plain almonds. So for a quarter cup of those is four points. So again, a little bit high, but nuts are one of those things that are very filling and yeah, they're, I, I mean, just enjoy it's them. a healthy fat. Yeah. I think there's fiber on and protein. One of our biggest staples yeah. are eggs. And those are hard boiled. I like boil up a whole bunch at one time, peel them, put them in a container like that. And then they're just really easy go-to snacks. Now on the green, eggs do carry points. Those are two points a piece. I believe there's zero on blue in purple though. Ballpark smoked turkey hot dogs. I discovered these a while ago and they're very good. And they're only a point a piece. So great for camping. Yeah, great for camping, great for whenever you want to do hot dogs, because hot dogs are kind of one of those things that I guess you would think of that you can't really have on Weight Watchers, um, because they're they're high in points, but those being only a point, and for as good as they are, we love those. Brummel and Brown. This is my go-to butter spread. So I use that mainly for baking, um, but you could use it as just whatever butter substitute you would be wanting to use, or whatever you'd want to be substituting butter for. Apparently it's, it's deliciously creamy. It is deliciously creamy. It works really well uh, in baked stuff. So that, the Bremel and Brown is two points per tablespoon. Premier Protein, we love these. They come in a lot of different flavors. They are only two points a piece, and they're how many grams of protein? This 30, one's 30. 30. I think they're all 30, actually. Yeah, good source of protein. Um, and this this kind of trips like a, a milkshake uh, craving. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have these for dessert um, sometimes. They're also good, depending on flavor, for coffee creamer, too. So we like those. Turkey pepperoni. Now this one I get at Aldi. It's the Mama Cozy's. And it is only a point of serving. 
and it is absolutely delicious. I love this stuff. I always buy it when I go to Aldi and it's great on pizza. It's great just to eat kind of as a snack too. Yeah. So definitely one of our favorites. These last two, these are our absolute, I would say top. Top of recent, yeah. Yeah, so for me, these turkey sausage sticks, and we get these at Sam's, Sam's but they're a national brand. Yeah, old Wisconsin. Oh, they're good. They are so good. And they really satisfy, I guess, I don't know what. Just whatever I mean, snacky craving. Yeah, it's a snacky. Um, then these are what, two points of stick? Those are two points of stick. Uh, so I, you know, I pair these with the, with the cheese. cheese stick. So that's a three point snack. Um, that's very satisfying. Yeah. I love these. I would say I eat those currently every single day too. I eat them every day. <laughs> yeah. 100%. And then I would say my all time favorites. This is the number one. Number one thing that I use more than anything um, on Weight Watchers and probably not on Weight Watchers too is the fat free plain Greek yogurt. This stuff is so versatile has so many different uses. I will link my Greek yogurt video up above and down below if you want to see just a few of the ways that I use yeah, that. I mean, snacks, desserts. We have, a, we have a snoring dog, I just heard. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's. It's, it's almost in every meal, almost. Yeah, I <laughs> would say I definitely use that every single day. And that's why I buy so much of it in, still run out of it because it's just it's great stuff and it is for a three-quarter cup it's really going to down it is two points i do believe it's zero on purple and blue though i think fat free greek yogurt is zero on, on those two but i'm not sure yeah. um but even at two points for a three-quarter cup that's really low for that stuff but yeah definitely my favorite thing and most used thing uh, you're on my Weight favorite Watchers. Thing. So are you. I'm not my favorite thing. Oh, you're my favorite thing. I'm my least favorite thing. Oh my God. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> it's a whole different video right <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> all right, guys, I think we got them all. We had quite the pile up yeah. here. And I'm sure there's things that we're not thinking of because I always remember things later. It's like, oh yeah, that too. But I would say these items, are pretty much currently our most used or our kind of must haves yeah. for, for WW. But yeah. yeah, I hope maybe this was helpful to you guys. Maybe it gave you some new ideas for things for yourself. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you on the next one.